Well, in the meantime, it is certainly no secret that Albuquerque has a little bit of a reputation for being somewhat dangerous, especially in comparison to other parts of the country. We regularly rank among the most violent cities in the U.S., and that is largely based on the number of homicides and also gun violence data. But what does that data actually truly say about our city? Griffin Rushton joins us now with a closer look at a new map courtesy of the New York Times, Griffin. Yeah, here's the map right here. It's an interactive map giving, map giving Americans a more accurate look at where gun violence is happening in the US. The Times compiled data from the Gun Violence Archive to pinpoint just about every fatal shooting since 2020 down to the block. And you're probably wondering right now, what does Albuquerque look like? So let's zoom in for you real quick here. There we go. Go. Yeah, the first thing you're probably going to notice is these hot spots on the map, but you might not be surprised they're all along Central here in the International District, over by Tramway, and of course in downtown Albuquerque. Of course, there are deadly shootings all over this city, more so in the southern part you can see right here. But according to the Times, only 38% of Albuquerque residents live directly near one of these shooting scenes, suggesting Albuquerque is not as completely dangerous as it may seem. Again, this map only shows deadly shootings, no other crimes, but let's take a look at some other cities. Albuquerque is often compared to Tucson, Arizona, and while there were about 100 fewer shootings in the same time frame, the Times estimates 30% of residents here live near one of those shootings, not far, for all, not far off from Albuquerque's numbers. It's a similar story up in Phoenix, where there were twice as many deadly shootings since 2020, but you'll notice they're a little bit more evenly spread throughout the city. And to show you an extreme, let's see. Da, 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 da. Let's go to Philadelphia, where the Times estimates 75% of residents live near a deadly shooting single. Zoom in a little bit more. You can see just how uh, dark red some of those areas are. Let's uh, go back to Albuquerque real quick. So there's a lot of ways to interpret this map and what it says about Albuquerque's reputation. So we went out and asked folks for their thoughts. That's hard, um, because especially since I haven't been affected, um, I feel like it's kind of gotten a little worse over the years. Many Burkenos agree gun violence is an issue in Albuquerque, and it's getting worse. It just seems like a dramatic spike after, you know, pandemic and everything else, and it just seems like it's gotten a little chaotic. In my neighborhood, we had a shooting at our mailboxes. It was a few years ago, but it was right there and the person died. But they also agree it's not necessarily a citywide problem. I think there are pockets that definitely seem more dangerous. But I do feel like it's kind of centralized in certain parts of town. It's not rampant through the whole city. APD shot spotter data from 2023 tells a similar story with two thirds of all activations happening in the southeast and southwest areas of command. The area covering downtown Albuquerque is next on the list, largely mirrored this map of deadly shootings from the New York Times. But does that data match Albuquerque's dangerous reputation? Um, I feel like it's 50-50. I think people think it's pretty rough, that it's still sort of the wild, wild west. I think being born and raised here, um, it's just we have that perception on ourselves. You see, you see lots of stuff everywhere. So I would say I think it's a fair reputation. But some argue gun violence is just as bad in other cities. It's everywhere, um, not just in New Mexico. But it's worse everywhere. You know, we were just Oklahoma City, and it's like I feel I have the same radar up in Oklahoma City that I have in Albuquerque. You know, I feel like every big city in the U.S. is having the same problems, not just Albuquerque. Now, it is worth noting a recent survey conducted by the city found that 69% of Burkenos feel safe while outside in their neighborhoods. And that same survey revealed that speeding and reckless driving is actually the number one public safety concern. However, uh, youth gun violence was also a top concern in that survey. So it's not like it's something that's not on people's minds. Yeah, gun violence is just one issue overall, but it is a major concern for a lot of people and adults, youth, everyone involved. And that's an interesting perspective from the New York Times. Absolutely. Griffin, thank you so much.